My name is Gideon George from the parish of St. Demetrius at St. Mary's. Now, as a Christian, one of our most powerful weapons against temptations and all the evils in this world is prayer. As we know, we pray to God for many things. It could be for small things, like to have a nice and happy day, or a prayer to help in an exam or assessment at school, or a prayer for God to help you be a better person. Sometimes it can even be more serious like a prayer to help get through an illness or a particularly difficult part of our lives. Our faith is crucial in allowing these prayers to reach God so that he can listen and act. We want him to act on what we are asking. This is similar to the way we may ask our parents to help us when we need them. How hard it must be then when we feel like he's not listening. He's silent. We pray and we pray and we wait. And then we pray some more. Sometimes it may feel like God doesn't care or does not notice us. Maybe we can think that we did something wrong. After praying for a long time with no response from God, we can sometimes even give up and stop. But we must always know that God is everywhere. He's always listening when we pray to him. He's always ready to answer our call. His response is perfectly timed. He may even catch us by surprise. Around the time just before Jesus Christ's birth, there was a holy man who had a similar experience to the one I just mentioned. He was a Levite named Zacharias. He was born of parents who were also close to God. In fact, his father was the high priest Abiatha. He lived with his wife Elizabeth in Jerusalem. Together they lived a life that was dedicated to God. They prayed every day. They were good people who helped those around them. They followed the Ten Commandments. And all this was done with much joy and love. However, with all this, they grew old and were still childless. Even though they had prayed for years and were good throughout their lives, they were unable to experience the joyous blessing of children, no matter how much they prayed for this. Was God not listening to Zacharias? One day, Zacharias, who had decided to dedicate his life to God, went into the altar to burn some incense and pray. This was the day that he had finished his priestly training and was going to become a high priest. Suddenly, the angel Gabriel appeared to him, shining with divine light. The angel told him how God had heard all of his prayers and had granted Zacharias and his wife Elizabeth a son, who was to be called John. The angel announced, He will be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb, and will go before the Lord to make ready a people, prepared for him. Now you can imagine what Zacharias thought. How is this possible? We are old now. And is this vision of the angel Gabriel even real? Because of his doubt, Archangel Gabriel took away Zacharias' speech to teach him a lesson. Anything is possible for God. He would not be able to speak until his son John was finally born. Eventually the day came. Zacharias was writing the name of his son John on a tablet. Not the computer touchscreen tablets, 
but the ones made of stone that were a way of presenting announcements. Then suddenly his voice came back. The Holy Spirit then filled him, and with much excitement he shared the news of his son's birth to everyone around him. He even prophesied or foretold that his son would be one of the greatest prophets. John will prepare the way for Christ's coming by showing the people of God how to pray, fast and seek forgiveness for their sins. He would give light to those who live in darkness in the shadows of death. The John that Zacharias spoke of was Saint John the Baptist whom we celebrated last week on the 29th of August. What a blessing for Zacharias to be the father of such a big saint of our Orthodox Church. There are a lot of points that we can take from Zacharias, who is a saint of our church. There were many moments in his life where he could have lost hope about having children and turned that into anger. Anger against God. He could have doubted that God cared or listened for, to him. He could have turned his back on God many times, but instead he showed patience and love towards his creator. This gave him further strength to do the best that he could with the gift of his son John and be the best father that he could be. He must have shown St. John the Baptist many things, including how to love God with all his heart, mind and soul, sharing all of his virtues to help his son reach his potential. Today is the day that we remember and celebrate the lives of St. Zacharias and his wife Elizabeth. It is also the day we celebrate our fathers. Let us show our love towards them, remembering all their virtues and lessons that they teach us, especially as they help lead our lives towards Christ. Amen. I